Okay, working on our <clears throat> city collage. First step, find your city, find your 15 images and backgrounds, and then we go to Photopea. You gotta cut out your images, and then we open a new project. Um, we're gonna choose print, ledger, because it's 11 by 17, but it's not formatted the way we want, so we use these little arrows right here to switch them. So now it's going horizontal instead of vertical. Hit create, and we've got our image. Now, we're gonna come down here to our colors, and we are going to take it down to the oranges and get us a nice light tan color. You could go a nice light blue or a light green or something. I guess it depends on your city. I like tan because it seems to work well. Uh, underneath the eraser tool, we find the paint bucket. We're gonna click once on the background and change the color. Now we have a nice neutral background that we can use underneath everything. All right, so in theory, you've already cut out your images for only the parts that you want. Get rid of any like excess sky or whatever that you don't need. Um, then we're gonna go file and open and place. I'm gonna find my first one here. There it is. We're gonna make this our first image. Okay, I'm gonna do it kind of big because I'm not gonna fit all 15 because you only need to see it a couple times. Get it where you want it, hit enter. Now you can resize this if you transform it or you use your transform controls in the move tool. Um, but for now it works because it'll show you what I wanna show you. <clears throat> okay, down in the layers palette, we are going to make a new layer and we're gonna come over here and add an adjustment layer. And we're gonna go very top, color fill. Okay, now it's it's definitely, um, you know, changed the color of the whole thing. That's not what we want. So we're gonna go up to our mode and change it to overlay. Okay, so now it's just kind of adding some color to it. If we turn that eyeball off, you can see what it's done. But I don't like this color. So I'm gonna adjust the color a little bit. If I take it down. Ooh, I kind of like kind of like the purple and yellow. Hit OK. Okay, you'll notice it's adjusted the colors. Okay, I'm going to come over to the layer and I'm going to right click and I'm going to call it a clipping mask because I don't want to affect the background. Okay, very important that you make it a click clipping mask so that it only affects the layer below it. Now what I can do is right click on it and merge down if I know it's where I want it. And now it's one layer by itself. Now, when you merge down, you're sort of stuck because you can't undo it. So I'm gonna go back and undo that real quick. And I'm gonna leave it like this, okay? Because I wanna bring in another image, file. Uh, let's go open in place. I'm gonna bring in this guy. Let's put him over here so I can see him while I'm working on him. Same steps, add a new layer, and then add an adjustment layer. So I'm gonna color fill, okay? I can't see what I'm doing, so I'm gonna change it to an overlay. Now notice it's affected everything. So I gotta make that a clipping mask again, so it's only affecting that one. Let's change the color. Um, make it a little more green, hit OK. Let's try this. We are going to merge down and boom, we've got our separate layer. OK, so that will work. Um, now, if I, I get everything the color I want it, then I merge them down. Do this one, too. And that way I can move stuff around. I can layer them on top. Now, I kind of want this underneath. So I'm going to drag it under that layer. When you get a whole bunch of stuff, that's kind of the part of the fun is figuring out how to make them all fit on an image together. So let's say I filled up the page. I've got a background in there and I've made it kind of um, more opaque. You know, I can change the, the opacity of background that way. Um, I'm going to go to the background. Well, I'll just we'll go to the top. I'm going to make a text layer but I want it to be white. So I'm gonna switch this first. Hopefully that gives me the white up on top. 
go the length of the page. And let's see, um, let's find a font we like. Um, something that's nice and bold. Um, that's kind of a good one. Font Erica one. And I type in my city. Okay, I could probably go a little bit bigger with it. Um, let's say 650. It's going to have to be pretty big. because I want it to go all the way across. So let's say I put it up here. Okay, it's a little hard to read, but that's because I don't have a bunch of other stuff. I change my opacity. Yeah, I kind of don't like that. Go down here where we can see it a little better. Now, if the white isn't reading because you've got a lot of light stuff, we got to change the color of it. So maybe I highlight this and I make the color a nice purple. Oh, I didn't change the color. <laughs> All right, let's get over here. Hit OK. Yeah, see, that plays a little better. So Maybe my opacity could even come down more. I go 25 with it. Okay, so you just kind of have to work with it and adjust it. Um, now, if I wanted to put a background in here, I could do that. Uh, open in place. And I just happen to have a New Orleans style background of Bourbon Street that I use when I do my Zoom calls. So maybe I put that in. Hit enter, and I'm going to drag that just above the background, and I'm going to turn it way down. Okay, now with that, I can see my New Orleans is a little light, so I can maybe bring that up to 40. And again, when I go to do, you know, move things around, I can transform, I can rotate these things. You know, maybe I rotate this. Throw it up in the corner. Um, the trick is making this so it all fits. You know, maybe I rotate this one. I don't even have to go in and transform. I can simply use the transform controls. So as I'm adding everything in, I'm able to adjust and move things around, resize. Um, but that's kind of the idea, is that you sort of layer everything on top of each other and see how it fits like a puzzle. All right. Um, now, there are some text effects that you can do if you want to go in and choose your text layer. And maybe we do an, a bevel and emboss on it. Um, I don't know if it's going to work. Let me chisel hard. So that might add some cool to it. Um, I can always go back and undo that if I don't like it. Um, I can turn it off. You know, maybe change the opacity down a little bit more. Take it to 30. It's a little better. So, yeah, it's going to be a lot of tweaking to get things to fit how you want them. Um, again, remember, you can change character stuff as well. If I want to um, change the look of stuff, I can change the tracking. Okay, I don't really want to do that. Um, I can change the height of the letters. So maybe if I want to make the letters a little taller, if I can't find a font that's exactly what I want. So yeah, there's lots of adjustments that you can make. Turn my effect back on. So yeah. Um, the, the goal here is to incorporate a lot of the skills that you've picked up over the quarter. So just dropping a bunch of pictures on a page, that's first day of school stuff. Okay, we already did that. We are editing, we are cutting out, we are doing text effects, we are adding really cool things to this, this project. Um, so no basic stuff. Now when you save, save often, save it as a PSD. And then, of course, when you're done, export it as a JPEG. And you'll have your 
finished product. Now, obviously, I need 15 different images, and they actually have to do with my city. Um, but uh, you get the idea. Okay, so that's how you do the color effect, the color overlays. And uh, good luck on this project. You should be able to finish this in about a week.